start a proper business. Careless spending. There's someone now, you're hearing me. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy an iPhone, but I'm telling you, sometimes it is a spirit of poverty. Do you know with that amount of money, you can start actually something that can make you buy 10 iPhones in the future? Careless what? Careless spending. If you, if you see yourself, all the times when you have money, you just want to luxury. You want luxury. When you have money, luxury. Just know there's a spirit. All this spirit it will do, it will create a want that you must use your money and when the money is finished, you are broke. And you're supposed to be a millionaire. It doesn't want you to be rich. Say, I rebuke you, Satan. Say it again. Say, I rebuke you, Satan. It is a spirit of poverty. It makes people have careless spending. You will use all your money on useless things. And if I don't teach this in church, I'm not helping the church. You need to know this. Hear me. The enemy wants you to remain poor. In John 10 verse 10, the Bible says he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. When he looks at you, he looks at three things. If the devil cannot kill you, he must destroy your life. If he can't destroy your life, he must steal your blessings. So it's either you are killed by the devil, or you are destroyed by the devil, or he has stolen things from you. Careless spending. You will remain poor. I'm telling you. It is not you, it is a spirit. And we need to command this spirit to go. You have money. I told you before. You know, you have money. And all your money, the moment it comes in your pocket, you begin all of a sudden, you begin to think, I need it to... Ah. It's a careless spending. Number three, chronical debts or being in severe loans, serious borrowing. Just know you are under attack. You are under attack, serious borrowing. You find yourself all the times not balancing up and you always need the help. So the way you need help, you'll be like, you, uh, can you borrow me 200? They give you. You go, uh, hey, do you have 500? He gives you, uh, hey, do you have 50,000? <laughs> you, uh, do you have, now, then they begin, this one begins, I need my money. Like, ah, uh, this one. You even switch off your phone. You're looking at me like you're a suspect. And these people, eh, they call you at night. In the morning, before you wake up, they wake, up, when they wake you up with a call. Hello? Want a new number? You pick thinking it's a breakthrough. <laughs> like, hello? Ah, what, what's happening with my money? Some of these banks, different places you have got serious issues with money and if you are seeing these things happening around you hear me we need to command the spirit of poverty to leave you yes. trust me when this spirit is gone you will not borrow you shall actually lend people be borrowing from you when this spirit is cast out you shall be the one borrowing people come on somebody say here you may prophet say you spirit of poverty i command you out so to some people, they are lazy as a manifestation. To some people, they borrow. To some people, careless what? Spending. It is not the same with all people. It manifests differently. To other people, they are lazy. To other people, number four, greed. 
Say greed. greed. Say that again. Greed. greed. Matthew 6 verse 24. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other. Or you will devote to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Very important scripture. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 5 verse 10 and verse 13. Whoever loves money never has enough. Whosoever loves what? Whoever loves worth is never satisfied with their income. This too is meaningless. This greed I'm talking about, it is the love of money. You are never satisfied. All you want is money. Someone said greed. You have this thing of not being satisfied. All the times all you want is money. If this thing is happening on you, just know you are under attack of the spirit of poverty. It will make you start loving money. There is a difference between loving money and what? And using money. Do you know money? Do you know money? People, there are people who actually love money. Like, I love money. I want... The, anyone who loves money, I'm promising you today, anyone who loves money, money hates them. You should notice this. People who love money, they never, they never have it. If you're hearing me, it doesn't love you. That's why it's not in your pocket right now. And you love it. People who love money, money doesn't love them. That's the currency. It wants you to keep on hunting for it. And you end up doing things against your own God. You are never satisfied. You have this greed in you. You even begin to save money. The Bible says you can't save money and save God at the same time. It is a spirit of poverty. It makes you love money. People who love money can do anything to have it. That's where people fall under sin and trap of the enemy. Because they love money. Me, I don't love money. Money loves me. Even if I change my address, it will follow me where I am. Don't love money. Let the money love you. Don't love it. The love of money. You hear me? The love of money is the root of all evil. And the people who love money have a spirit of what? Do you hear that? All the times, if you know that every time you sit like this, all you're thinking is, ah, yeah, 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 money. Don't love it. Let money love you. God, God made you to be a person in command. Adam was in command. God said, the man shall dominate. You have dominion and dominance over money. Not money having dominion over you. It's a vice versa. It's like it, it, it defeated you. Can you imagine you sitting in your room in your house and thinking, I don't know what to do. What's the issue? You are defeated by money. You can't get the money. That is an error. You are anointed by God to rule money. To have dominance and dominion over money. What is making you not to have dominion over it? It is a spirit of poverty because it wants you to remain under the authority and control of money. So you are controlled by money. What money wants you to do? You find yourself doing it. So you are, you are being remote controlled by a spirit of poverty by making you love money so that it can control you since you are under the influence of money. People who rule money, they control it. All billionaires in the world, they are not controlled by money. They control the money. The person who made a bank or the owner of the bank right now is not behind the, 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 the reception or the till saving people. He's not even there. He's in his house sleeping. He controls things. They control things. They control a system. But if money controls you, you'll be looking for it every day. 
it will never come to you. It is a spirit of poverty. I want you to raise up your two hands and say, I command you out of my way. Say loud and clear. I command you out of my way. I command you out of my way. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.